Imagine you're 17. You're like, I really want to start a company. And I know hypothetically there's people out there who start companies, but I'm really daunted by this idea. Like what, how, how do you do that? Like what, it, you make apps, like that's the thing people know how to, people do. People make companies? Tell me more. All right, so here's the breakdown of how to start a company. It's like actually not that hard. You don't need to incorporate your company to start a company. Just start creating value. So like one thing that I made in college is I started hiring a lot of people on Upwork to be. So are you a ninja? Yes, yes I am. Like freelancers for me. And I had a lot of friends who wanted to have a virtual assistant, like a secretary, executive assistant, but anywhere in the world. And I had especially these four friends that I knew would love to have something like this. If you want to have an executive assistant, I would love to offer you one. She's really good. I've been working with her for a while. Uh, you can pay a subscription. Subscription is a hundred bucks a month. Are you interested? And they were all interested. So I just Venmo requested all four of them a hundred bucks. Boom, my business made $400. Boom, that was a business. I didn't need to incorporate, I didn't need to do anything else. It's much more interesting though, if you're not selling your service, your time, if you're selling your product. First of all, you can do a tech company or you could do a kind of normal company. Now you can have a physical product like Board Break, which is a 3D printed break for skateboards that I built when I was in college. Uh, but that's hard because it requires tooling and machining and a shop, and it's expensive. And then you need to ship it to people. Um, much nicer if you can sell something digital, software, because you can infinitely multiply it. The other thing is network effects start to kick in when you build software and it ends up being a platform. So look at the biggest companies in the world today, right? Google, YouTube, Amazon, TikTok. It's all platforms that people upload material to. And so with Speechify, the goal is to make it into a platform, which today it is. It's using other people's content um, on the internet, but it allows you to access it in a different way, in a better way. Technology companies, as a result of this, end up with much bigger multiples of uh, yearly revenue to valuation. And if you look at the list of the hundred, the thousand wealthiest people in the world, a crazy amount of them are pretty young. And all the young people are in technology. So let's assume you want to make an app or a website or a machine learning company. You have two approaches. Number one is go learn how to make the technology, right? Study computer science. You can study at MIT or Stanford or you can just teach yourself and just start building stuff. And it doesn't matter what pedigree you have or where you went to school. Like the internet democratizes access to knowledge. It's just a matter of your desire to actually go and build things. Like computer science, like you don't need to be good at math. You don't need to be good at science. You just need to go and do it. Even if you're like me and you misspell everything, like you can still do it. It's just a matter of trying. Computer science when you studied in college is much more intense than what you need in order to build an app or a website. If you want to build a website, right, the, the actual tools you use is HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. And there's so many tools that make it easy to do this kind of stuff. You can use Webflow, you can use WordPress. Um, and to make an app, you download Xcode, which is a software to make iPhone apps. And then you literally can drag and drop buttons and labels and create an app. And so when I wanted to learn how to do this, I didn't change my major to computer science. I just downloaded a course on Udemy uh, called The Complete iOS Developer Course by Rob Percival, who's this really amazing teacher from England. He has an amazing accent. And it was 23 hours of video, and you build 19 projects. You start with building like a calculator and a clock, and you finish by building clones, basic clones, of Instagram, of Tinder, of Google Maps, of Snapchat. Um, and after I built all these apps just in my free time, I, I could build anything I wanted. All I did was watch a screencast of what buttons he clicked on his computer and what he wrote, and then I do the same thing on my computer. Insane, so easy to learn. Even a monkey could do it, so even I could do it. It just requires you investing the time and being self-disciplined about doing it. You should not be a tech founder without at least learning how to build a website or an app. And the reason that is, is because it's easy to go and do it. Like, it, I promise you, it's not hard. You can do it. It'll take you time. You know, in a month, there's 30 days. So if you work 10 hours a day for 30 days, that's 300 hours, boom. One month from now, 30 days from now, you can be excellent at making apps and websites. Boom, you're qualified to be a startup founder. The difference between the people who do it and the people who don't do it is the people who actually stick with it. And that comes from A, work ethic, B, desire, C, setting up good systems that allow you to do it. If you're like me and you easily get distracted, set up a good system. Make sure that your friends keep you accountable. Do it with a friend. Convince your mom to do it at the same time as you or your little brother or your best friend. Uh, make a bet with someone for 500 bucks to see who's gonna finish it first. Whatever it might be, but find a way to keep yourself accountable and just, just do it. What's the Shia LaBeouf video? Just, just do it! Just do, do it! it. Okay, now you know how to make apps and you know how to make websites. If you want to go fast, go by yourself. If you want to go far, do it with other people. Find other people who are motivated, who maybe even get more energy from you uh, in coding or designing, and get them to work on projects with you. Everything starts with your will. And you know what's cool? It doesn't matter where you are in the world, where you were born, who your parents are, how much money you have. Your will is something that is 100% up to you. And if you were to identify one thing about me that is different than most other people, is my willpower is all-encompassing. There's a fire inside my chest that is dying to go out and go do stuff. Like, if it would open, it would bounce off the wall. Whoa! And it does not matter what it is, I'm not stopping. I don't have a higher IQ than other people. There's EQ, which is emotional intelligence. Pretty okay. And there's AQ, which is adversity quotient, which is when things get tough, 
how good are you at persevering? And that I'm off the charts on. So any challenge that comes to Speechify, it's like breaking through walls. This is my best skill. There's like a wall here. The wall could be like learning how to code. Okay, I run, 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 run. I reach the wall, boom, you splat. You pick yourself up, you go back. Like if you think about it as, let's say I'm learning how to code and I'm running into bugs. Cool, running start this time. Boo, slam into the wall now on the floor. Pick myself up, go again. There's a bug, go again. I'm just like an idiot going against this wall over and over and over and over again until finally the wall cracks. And I'm like, yay, I've passed the wall. Ah! Oh yeah! Now Mario, going on to the next, uh, the next thing. Boom, and I get bigger every single time, and the walls get bigger, and I just break through walls again every single time. And that's how I learned how to code, it's how I learned how to design, it's how I learned how to hire people, and every time we have some sort of challenge in the company, it's just me being really good and continuously running through walls. And I think the cool thing about Speechify is so many people have touched the product. Like So many people have been part of the engineering organization, part of the design organization, part of the content organization, part of the marketing and growth team. And you know, people come in and out, take a year off school to come join us, they'll go back to school, um, they'll, they'll have kids, they'll do whatever. But the one thing that is never stopping is I'm continuing. Like I am the scaffolding from a will perspective and nothing will stop me from doing what I set my mind to do. And everybody in the company knows this. And so if you're watching and you're like, I wanna start a company, the number one thing that you should do is you should hone that sharp sense of will and that determination and again, if you're just talking, you don't actually have will. If you're doing, you have will. Do things that other people are not willing to do because your will is so unstoppable. So AQ is the thing that I attribute most of my success to, and it's easier said than done. How do you develop AQ? It's actually very easy. It's like going to the gym. You just do it. There was a day when my laptop was stolen, and I spent seven hours trying to get this laptop back. At the time, it was very important to me because I couldn't afford to buy another laptop. But the other thing that happened there is I just have an unstoppable force of will, and that was a practice point. The second time, my phone got stolen, it was so much easier to get the phone back. My sister's phone got stolen, very easy to get the phone back. My friend's laptop, same thing. I've done it before. Doing it again becomes easier. And so it's like levels in a video game, but it's just real life. And so what you should do at home is every time you see a challenge that is hard, gravitate towards that challenge. Like if there is something that is hard, go do it just for the sake that it's hard. And, and this is counterintuitive. Like as humans, we wanna stay away from things that harm us. We wanna stay away from things that take a lot of effort. Obviously, I care about solving dyslexia and I care about building good technology and I really enjoy it. I found my zone of genius and I found the thing that I think is worthwhile for me to do. Now, how did I find it? I read hundred books a year and I tried a bunch of different things and then I figured that this is the thing that I enjoy doing. So I just go and do that. And you should do the same thing. Find the thing that gives you energy and go do the thing that gives you energy and don't do the things that don't give you energy. And if you end up starting a company, one of the big privileges you are allowed as a founder, if you're doing well, is to hire other people to do the things that don't give you energy. The other thing you can do is go read a ton of biographies. Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Benjamin Franklin, the Wright brothers, um, Alexander Hamilton. Go and be inspired by other people in history that have not given up and be like, you know what? That's the person I want to be like. Last point I'll say, some people, let's say, are born to like a really wealthy family in the United States. They're really good looking, they're really attractive, they're really strong naturally, they're tall. And I think to myself, wow, like that's such a hard place to start your life. Because where are you gonna go from here? Like, what's your opportunity to go up from here? Your happiness is often a uh, equation where you go, your expectations minus what you got equals your happiness. And if you start in a slum in India, and then you go and become the CEO of Google or Microsoft, you're gonna be a pretty happy person. But if you start in the first example that I said, like, where are you gonna go up from here? Like, you literally have to go fucking colonize Mars to do something that's significant in life. Get off my lawn. And so from wherever you are, dream big dreams, and then go and figure out ways of executing against them by having really high IQ, by doing hard things, by recruiting other people to your vision, and just by having an iron will, iron will and not stopping.